Weather is the first risk we should consider before using the crane. Wind speed limit is a primary concern along with sea state and wave height. Wind speed can be easily monitored before and during the operation. Wind socks, flakes and flares could be used as a quick reference. There are sensors and indicators to monitor wind speed continuously. We have them everywhere. Weather forecasts are available daily. We compare actual weather to forecasted. It's important to know what to expect and what's happening at the time. But the most important thing to know is our limits of operation. All weather data is compared against our limits so we could decide if it's safe to work. Officer and crane operator should compare their data before even starting the job. Based on forecast, observed weather and operation limits, both crane operator and officer of watch should agree if all the factors are satisfactory to carry out the crane operation. With combined experience of people involved, risk of weather can be reduced to acceptable level. Radio channel for crane operation must be agreed between all involved. Communication must be maintained until job is completed. Hand signals should be used to visually confirm what is said through the radio. Before starting the crane, operator should always call the officer and ask for permission. Officer will consider the weather and permit the use of the crane. Then the same permission needs to be given from duty engineer, who will consider the available power and permit the use of the crane. The crane consists of thousands of moving parts which are under pressure or some other kind of stress. Not to mention all of that parts are exposed to weather, salt, humidity, sunlight, temperature, who knows what else. That's why crane needs to be inspected every time before it's used. Every crane has a pre-use checklist which has to be filled before using the crane. That checklist ensures that all is checked and provides an evidence in case you ever need it later. When all checks are completed, you may proceed to use the crane. Banksman must be always present when crane is used. He access the eyes and ears of the operator on the ground. Banksman can see some things which operator can't, like wire drum installed above the operator's cabin. Wire reeling gone wrong could cause damage, loss of cargo and even injury. No crane movement should be done without a reliable banksman. Pay attention to the boom position and distance from obstacles. Always watch the blocks, their movement and distance from each other. Your limit switch might fail, so you better watch the blocks. Watch for oil leaks or anything around hydraulic hoses. Watch the wire drum and wire itself.
Check the safe work load of the hook and attached slings, then compare it to the weight of the cargo. Every sling or hook must be marked with safe work load on it, otherwise can't be used. All certified equipment will have it, if not, it should be painted red and removed from service. Crane operator and his team must be aware of current color code. If color doesn't match, gear can't be used. Connect appropriate pennant before attaching slings and other lifting gear. Every part of rigging needs to be certified with safe workload far above the weight of the cargo. Check the safety pin on the shackle. Visually inspect the rigging assembly while it's being lifted. Operator should always have sight of the cargo. Blind lifts should be avoided. Sometimes the view is blocked so banksman's role becomes even more important for safety of the lift. Crane operator will not be rushed. He will not speed up on a request. Tagline should be attached to lifted object, no matter how small or light it is. Always keep distance and use a hook to reach the tagline. When lifting from the boat, operator will evaluate if vessel can hold position under the crane. Safety of boat screw is a priority. If cargo can't be lifted safely, lift will be aborted. Position the hook above the cargo and ensure crew is on safe distance when cargo is lifted. Swing the cargo slowly and stay clear from obstacles on the way. Special care is required in case of heavy lift. Special paperwork also. Heavy lift is allowed only when boat is stationary and in perfect weather conditions. Only essential personnel could be allowed on deck while heavy lift is in progress. At least two taglines should be used for heavy objects, so landing could be easily controlled by the crew on deck. Operator must know the weight before cargo is lifted. Contents of the cargo must be known to operator and his lifting team. Some cargo, like this nitrogen, special requirements. It has to be placed on deck in certain way. Transporting people in the basket presents the highest possible crane risk. Every passenger must have PFD and place themselves correctly they must be briefed and familiar with the basket. Crew members should always be with them and assist until departure. Make sure the basket is connected properly. Basket's pre-use checklist must be used. Although basket may be able to carry six passengers, people should be transported in smaller batches. Trial lift with empty basket should be conducted to ensure boat can safely hold position. Passengers must be well instructed to ensure smooth transfer. All other work must stop while personnel transfer is in progress. All available manpower should assist with passengers. Sensors and indicators are telling the operator what he needs to know about crane condition. If any of those is showing abnormal values, crane needs to be stopped.
train alarm should never be bypassed. If there's an alarm, operation stops and officer must be informed. Maximum values of safe workload and crane radius should never be reached. Stay well below it.